Hi everyone, so you want to start this design out by painting all of your nails with one coat or two coats of white nail polish. You want to allow this to dry completely before you move on to your next step. Next I'm going to be using this stamping plate QA29 and this is from bornprettystore.com. I will have the link in the description bar as well as my 10% off coupon code. One of my fondest memories about growing up is going to the fair and seeing all the carousel rides, all the horse rides, and all of those things are just one of the things that I remember, which is really childhood memories, as you guys can see here. So today I'm going to be using this stamping plate and I'm going to be creating different colored um, stamps on my nails using this stamping plate as well as this one which is right here as you can see MLS 301 and I will have the link to this in the description bar as well and I will be using this image here with the ice cream cones because when you go to the fair that's one of the things that you remember is all the cotton candy and ice cream that you eat and I will also be using this rainbow um, image right here and I'm going to use multicolors for this as well so you want to grab a bunch of different nail polish colors, ones that are your favorite and your stamping equipment and you will also need a dotting tool. And Let's get started. I'm just going to show you real quick some of the colors that I'm going to be using. Yellow and pink and blues and more fuchsia and purples, greens, basically any of the colors that you absolutely love. That's the colors that you want to use for all the images that I'm going to be creating because I also want to do different colors with my little horse here, the little pony. What I'm going to do is pick up the horse image right here and I'm going to use my black or gray nail polish and my stamper. So next I'm going to be using a multitude of different nail polish colors to fill in the image of the horse. So now that the image of your colorful horse is done, you want to wait about a minute until you feel like there's no nail polish coming off when you touch it lightly. One of the things that I love about this stamper is this is the only stamper that you can do this with and watch what I mean by that. Because usually when you use a stamper and you put the image on, you have to transfer it immediately from the stamper to your nail, otherwise it doesn't transfer. However, with this particular stamper, the great thing about this is that you can take your time and not have to worry that you're not going to get your image onto the nail. So then line up your nail, press it down and roll your little design on there. And as you can see, look at that, absolutely gorgeous and all the colors turned out really, really nicely. So now I'm going to do that with pretty much all the other little here and I'm going to put them on the other nails. Now if you've got more room on your nails you can definitely do more of these images. However, I'm going to save the last two nails for the rainbow image from the other stamping plate and the ice cream cones and candies and I'm going to do that on the thumbnail and my pointer finger. So now that I've picked up my rainbow I'm going to color it in with all kinds of different nail polish colors using my dotting tool and I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the other images. So now that I've got this image, I'm going to go ahead and color in my ice cream cone and I'm going to be applying that to my pointer finger. Wow. 
Lastly, you can use a combination of your favorite glitters just to add some highlights onto your nails. I'm gonna do that, top coat, and come back and show you the finished result. I've gone ahead and top coated my nails and this is what my design turned out like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fair and pony inspired nail art tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.